Hello there, this video will go over installing Debian in Userland, and by the end of this video we will have a Linux terminal which will bring us a step closer to having a Linux desktop on an Android. If you're interested in Linux on an Android, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on an Android without rooting. To install Debian, we are going to open up the Userland app, and in the app screen we are going to select Debian. A dialog will pop up saying we need to allow storage permissions, so we are going to click OK and then click Allow. Next, we are going to select a minimal desktop environment and then click Continue. After that, we are going to select Graphical for our connection type and then click Continue again. Finally, we will get Graphical Settings and we are going to leave everything as is and click Continue. Now Userland will install Debian and this will take a couple of minutes. For my Linux on Android videos, I will only be focusing on Debian, but you can install another app or install more than one app. If you accidentally install another app, that is okay because it can be deleted from the file system screen by long pressing or right clicking on the session and selecting delete. Deleting one session does not affect another session. Also, if you decide in the future you want to delete Userland, it will not affect your Android device, however, all your Userland files will be deleted. I will be covering how to access userland files in a future video. Once Debian is done installing, a Linux terminal will open. To make the terminal as big as possible, we can do a two finger pinch zoom on the screen until it's as big as we would like. We can also move the VNC floating menu out of the way by holding onto the circular icon on the left and dragging it wherever we would like. The VNC floating menu can be moved almost entirely off the screen so that it is out of the way. If some extra keys show up in the bottom corners of the screen, we can click on the second icon in the VNC floating menu to make them go away. To make the keys come back, we simply press on the second icon again. To shut down, we need to click on the three dot menu option in the VNC floating menu and select disconnect. In the session screen, we need to right click or long press on Debian and then select stop session. To bring Linux back up, we just simply click on Debian again and we get the terminal back. If you want to or feel a need to delete Debian, you can do so at any time. Just keep in mind that to get Debian back, you have to reinstall everything and start over. Also, if Debian gets messed up, the Userland app is not affected. If we right click or long click on a stop session in the session screen, the options edit and delete will show. Clicking on delete will result in our Debian session being deleted instantly without a dialog confirming whether or not we would like to delete it. To avoid accidentally deleting the Debian session, we can select edit, check the protected option, and click on the save button at the top right of the screen. Now, whenever we right click or long press on Debian, only the edit option shows. We can get the delete option back by editing the Debian session, unchecking protected and saving the change again, and now we have the delete option back. The same delete option comes up in the file system screen, except the delete option appears whether or not the session has been started or stopped. To get rid of it, we do the same thing we did in the session screen by right clicking or long pressing on Debian, select edit, and suppress the delete option by checking protected and saving the change. In the next video, we will go over what to install and how to create a script to bring up the LXDE desktop on our device. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, Linux on Android phones and tablets. And other than that, see you soon!